El Cobra, June March. Want to do a mini review on the 2022 Yamaha R3, the Black Raven edition, which is right here before me. I've been whipping this bike around for about two weeks. I wanted to get an initial impression on it. I got it for about 300 dollars or so. Alright, for the spec sheet, this is the 2022 Yamaha R3. The full title is the YZF R3, and this is the Black Raven colorway, or Black Raven edition. It's a number 321 cc, four valve, four stroke, double overhead cam. Alright, the, the older models did not come with ABS. This actually makes the MSRP, the price range, it goes up about 1K or so. But this is a very cool feature on the bike. Alright, so in my opinion, this is absolutely stunning and it's in a class of its own. There is no competition for the for the R3. And as somebody who practiced on a secondhand Yamaha R6, which is a higher displacement engine, I gotta say I have a lot of fun riding this. Just a lot of fun. Not only that, but it looks wise, this is a very sharp machine. I mean this is a beautiful, beautiful machine. All right, I got the the Black Raven, and it's a triple black color. It has these gold inverted forks. All right, you see the radiator right there in the back. Everything is blacked out. All of my bikes are black. You see, I haven't even removed some of the, the caps yet. There's still a seal on the key. The key housing right there, there's still a seal. It has a... This display, hold on, let me turn this on so you can see what the display looks like. Okay. So you have a time right there. Mileage, odometer, speedometer. ABS is on. The gear indicator. You got a fuel, fuel gauge. So everything you really need on a bike is on here. So this is a brand new model. Uh, if you look at this, look at this sign right here. It says Yamaha Motor Philippines. All right, there's a day right there, October 27th. This was delivered from Japan to Manila, and it ended up on the showroom in Mindanao in uh, December. As soon as I saw it, I picked it up. I said, "This is a beautiful, beautiful machine." All right, so it's a very low key. As far as styling, you have the R3 sign right here, which is barely visible unless you look close enough. Uh, you got the Yamaha logo right there. You got gills here. Fully fared sports bike, super sport category. This actually looks like its older brother, the R R6 and the R1. Not much to say about it except I have a great time riding it. I have a lot of fun riding it. This is the matte black finish, and it's just great styling, it's good on gas. Like I said, as somebody who rode on a higher uh, higher CC engine, this got to be the lord of the low displacement engines. I mean, it is very, very highway capable. This right here, you could whip this on American highways. You'll see this bike on American highways, uh, just, just killing it on the... On the speed zones. All right, we got a little carbon fiber right there. Little details I haven't even noticed yet. Yep. All right. So in my opinion, this is an outstanding, outstanding super sport category, uh, low displacement engine bike. It is the lord of low displacements. It is beautiful. It runs great. It has a nice throaty growl to it. When you rev the engine, it sounds great. Hold on, let me rev it real quick. All right, it has a lot of road presence. A lot of road presence. And maybe you're not that experienced as far as riding. You should definitely consider the R3. You might pull a little more than its competition like the Suzuki GSX or the Honda CBR, you might pay a little bit more, but it's guaranteed, guaranteed you will enjoy it. You'll enjoy every mile that you put into it. 
you'll have a lot of fun on it and like I said before looks wise nothing can compete with it nothing can compete with the mighty mighty Yamaha R3 I believe the Japanese manufacturers they have achieved mathematical harmony with this bike mathematical harmony all right it also comes with LED lights front and back you got these turn indicators on the side I hope you guys enjoy this I'll be doing another review of this maybe in about a month or so I just wanted to get my initial impressions on it and enjoy the bike a little bit as you can see I'm out here on the coast I like to ride along the coast ride along the water clear the thoughts a little bit get my mind you know get my mind right Think about what I have to do while well, also look cool doing it. Alright, as always, Hell Cobra, Hell Cobra, Hell Cobra.